The new movie, Single All the Way, has all the trimmings of a classic Christmas movie, a plan to trick the family that goes haywire, a little holiday spice, and BFFs who may turn out to be more than just friends. Here's a sneak peek. Christmas is a big deal for my family. And every year, I have this problem they all have to solve. Because I'm always the single one. I think you should come home with me. We can pretend we fell in love after all these years. <laughs> but it was so easy. My family already asked why we're not just together. All right. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we have star Philemon Chambers with us now. Hi, how are you? I am good, Ashley. How are you? I'm great. And I love that this film is getting so much buzz. Can you set the story up for us just a little bit? So the story is about Peter, who is usually single for Christmas, and he's going home. But uh, this time, he convinces his best friend Nick to go home with him to convince his parents that they are together, finally, after all of these years. And a lot of shenanigans happen. Some blind dates. um, And on Sandy. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Has this all hit you yet? I mean, how incredible to be a part of something historic like this. You know, I had a moment when I came back home and I literally said I am what I needed when I was younger. And it blew my mind because I never had positive representation like this on screen, in TV, whatever. Uh, So to be that and to have that now, it's a very humbling experience and I'm, I'm super grateful for it. And what better time than Christmas time? This movie feels like the perfect blend of cheesiness and humor and warmth. So what do you want people to take away other than all of those things I just named? (laughs) I want them to take away unconditional love. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like when you really look at the film, it is unconditional love. There are so many different levels of representation, but what you truly get is acceptance. So it's directed by Michael Mayer. He's a Tony-winning theater director. What was working with him like? I mean, of course I was nervous because, I mean, Tony award-winning director. I'm like, okay. Right. I'm like, for my first feature film? Okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the best word I can describe this whole experience is surreal. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you look up to these people and it's crazy to be next to them in scenes with them working alongside them and also to getting advice from them and and just talking to them and finding out you know like okay well how would you approach this well this is this what was the best piece of advice that you got from any of them i was in the car with jennifer robertson coming back from set um and she said uh baby if you think we are not nervous oh, something's wrong with you. (laughs) And um, it kind of released a lot of the tension that I had felt because, Mm -hmm. I mean, there was pressure in a sense of I felt a responsibility to my character and to the story and to my Uh, co-stars, but it released the tension that I felt within myself about having that imposter syndrome moment. Like, am am I sure that I, I belong here? You know, do I belong here? And she just really re solidified why I was here Um, And literally after that day, it was just smooth selling. I love it. Now, do you think that we could get a sequel? You know, I can neither confirm or deny that you'll see more Nick and Peter and that dynamic play out. You know, I I don't know. Okay. Sounds good. Well, everyone can catch Single on the Way streaming on Netflix starting Thursday, December 2nd. It was so lovely talking to you. Happy holidays and congratulations on all of this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And congratulations to you as well. 